Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, it's Sid Roth here. Welcome. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guest says that you can silence Satan forever. Is there anyone here interested in that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it's hard to believe, as I talked to Kyle Winkler here, uh, that he was shy, he was timid, uh, he, he, he wasn't a people person. And then, at age 16, everything changed. How bad was, was your shyness? Sid, I was to the point of being almost debilitatingly shy, I would say. In my elementary years, kindergarten, first grade, I was so shy that they actually thought that I had a reading problem. <laughs> so they put me in a special group for, for kids that needed special help with reading. I'd go out to this bus. And what it turned out to be was that I could read just fine, but I was so shy that when they would call on me to read, I would just freeze up. It's like I didn't... I didn't, I was just so shy to, to speak out loud. And of course, that hindered me in all kinds of ways as a, as a child. I was, it hindered me in making friends. It hindered me in athletics. So I became misunderstood. I became rejected and outcast. And of course, that plagued me for so many years. At 16, though, it all changed. What happened? I had a revelation of Jesus like I'd never had before. I finally understood Jesus as alive. I finally understood as Jesus having power and Jesus having power for my life. And so when that happened, I was filled with a boldness. When I was filled with the Holy Spirit, I was filled with a boldness. It's like they talked about in Acts 4.31, that when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, they suddenly spoke with boldness. And as I was saturated with God's presence in my life like never before, I was saturated with his boldness and suddenly the things that held me back no longer held me back anymore. I was starting to seek out ways from that point to speak to people and to get in front of people and to share this message that set me free. And Kyle became a dynamic speaker working for one of the largest churches in the United States, a wonderful ministry. Then he decides God's leading him to start his own ministry. And just as he's starting, guess what? He had an all out assault where the devil began speaking to him and he was almost robbed of his destiny. What happened? All of a sudden, it was like I woke up one morning to these fiery darts that started coming at me. This was an intense attack, Sid. Suddenly, it was like for, for a week, this nagging voice that perched upon my shoulder. And all it did from, from my every waking moment was it threw out these whispers and these accusations. And in this instigating voice, I mean, this was no fleeting thought that was happening. This was a demonic attack on my life. And the first whisper that it said was, look what you've done. Look what you've done. It redirected my mind's eye to my every sin all the way back to potty training. There I was. I mean, even the, the smallest sins. There I was at, at four years old, pickpocketing the piece of chocolate taffy from the grocery store candy bin or taking the Louisville slugger to the neighbor girl's stomach for no reason, as if there's ever a reason for that. But it didn't matter how distant or how small, the devil brought those things back to my remembrance. And the, the next thing he says is God can't use you. And so that's his next thing. God can't use you. You're too dirty. 
You've messed up one too many times. You, you can't be used in God's service, much less the miracle working power that you pray will flow through you. And then the next thing that he does is he tells you, and this is what he did in that week of my spiritual warfare. He exposed the last part of his playbook ultimately. What he did is he said, shut it all down. There I was, just starting my own ministry. Did you believe this? I did. I, I started to because, because he was reminding me of things that I actually did. And so I started to think that, man, you know, I guess I can't be used in ministry. I guess I am too dirty to be. I guess I have made too many mistakes. You know what? If Kyle hadn't had this profound revelation, he would have been robbed of his destiny. And many of you are being robbed of your destiny. What happened? Well, suddenly, you know, God does not just leave us in despair. He comes pursuing us and he comes pursuing us with righteousness. In my week where it was a severe demonic war intended to shut me up, suddenly, all of a sudden, I saw this verse of scripture like I never saw before. It was John 1, 29, when he said, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the word, world. And it was that word behold. And with that, I was taken to the cross in a profound revelation. There I was, my mind's eye went there to the cross one morning when all of a sudden there I was at the foot and I saw the magnitude of those arms stretched out across that rugged splintery beam. And I was there, right there at the foot, looking up at Jesus. And I saw his body beaten and battered and bruised beyond description. That's what Isaiah says, that he was unrecognizable as a man. And I saw it that day. I saw, as 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, the place where he who knew no sin took on my sin. All of the insecurities from my past that I talked about from childhood, all of, of the, the little sins, the big sins, suddenly there I was as I saw that crown of thorns with its one inch barbs, one inch barbs pressed down upon his maimed forehead. You, you loved Jesus before. I but, loved Jesus but, before. But I had gotten beyond the cross was the truth. I had started, I was in seminary and, and as I said, professional ministry, and I was looking for super sensational things, give me some new revelation. Mm -hmm. but, but the Lord had to take me back to his strategy, that he was the lamb that was slain before the foundations of the earth. The cross was always God's strategy and I had to go back there to see it for myself. And I saw that blood as it dripped down over his body, which was so wounded and so beat. I saw that Roman scourge as it lashed the sinless body of Jesus. Zechariah, prophesying of that day, said, when they look upon the one they have pierced, they will weep. And when I saw Jesus with all of that stuff on him, I fell to my floor in my living room one morning, and that's what I did. I wept. I wept and I wept. My sin became exceedingly sinful. I wept, my carpet was wet with tears. As I understood, finally, I finally saw it, what I did to Jesus. But God doesn't just leave us there. He wants to bring us out into victory. You know, intellectually, you understand what Kyle's saying. This is a revelation. And I'm gonna tell you something, this revelation is going to get deep in you and no devil in hell is going to be able to torment you again. I want to find out what Kyle calls the key to silencing Satan forever when we come back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Reserve your place and get ready to experience Israel, the land of the supernatural with Sid and Joyce Roth. November 24th to December 3rd, 2015. It's the perfect temperature and the land is calling your name. Visit the Mount of Olives, the Garden of Gethsemane, Calvary, and take communion at the Garden Tomb. Visit the Upper Room, Qumran, the home of the Dead Sea Scrolls, and receive ministry as you travel across the Sea of Galilee. 
If you like, you can be baptized in the Jordan River, the Jewish way, the way Jesus was baptized, and so much more. The price for this 10-day adventure includes round-trip airfare from New York City, hotel, all taxes, all tips included. Don't miss out on going with Sid Roth on this Israel tour for this special low price. Please specify the Sid Roth Israel trip when you call or visit SidRoth.org forward slash Israel. We now return to It's Supernatural. Kyle had a profound revelation. He knew intellectually before this, but he literally saw what Jesus did for him as an individual. And he began to weep and weep and weep. And then God told you to do something. As I was there on that floor of my living room and I was weeping, all of a sudden, the Spirit started to minister to me. And he said, I want you to get up off that floor and I want you to pull out a piece of paper and I want you to make a list, a record of your wrongs. This is what Colossians 2.14 talks about, a record of your wrongs. And so there for the next few minutes, all I did is, is I wrote out those things on this piece of paper line by line, the things that I never dealt with, the things that I obviously hadn't fully dealt with because they were still hanging over my head for the devil to accuse and torment me with. So I wrote out that record of my wrongs until it looked more like an indictment for my arrest. <laughs> and then, as that was finished, the Spirit said to me again, now I want you to draw on that paper a cross and I want you to write blood. Draw a cross and write blood. For, for the next, I don't know, 10 minutes or so maybe, that's all I did on that paper. I drew a cross and wrote blood, drew a cross and wrote blood until that paper was completely covered by the only two things that can actually cover for our sin, which is the cross of Jesus Christ and the blood that was shed on it. Then the Spirit said, completely covered with the cross and blood, I want you to rip that paper to shreds to symbolize that I have thrown your sin as far as the east is from the west. And I tell you what, I got up at that point with another new boldness as I heard Jesus, as he thundered for all of creation to hear those last words that he spoke on that cross before he expired. And he said, it is finished. And I want to tell somebody that's watching today, it's finished. Jesus said 2,000 years ago, as he died on that cross for your sin, he shouted out over your life that it is finished. Slavery to sin is finished. Guilt and condemnation is finished in your life. The question of does God love me is finished as you go to behold Jesus. And that's what I heard for myself. And I'm telling you what, I rose up. It was like a resurrected life that day. Define the key to defeating Satan in your life, silencing him. The key is the strategy all along, which is the cross, okay? That is the key. The cross is the place where God takes the things that the devil meant for your defeat all the guilt, all the shame, he turns it around. See, Jesus is known for turning tables. He turns it around and he uses those very things to actually defeat him instead. The cross is the place where God takes the bad and he turns it into good. And it is the key for victory for your life. Speaking of the cross, <clears throat> you say everyone is at a crossroads of death. Explain. <laughs> That's the truth. In, as I was going through this, God said to me, you stand at a crossroads and you can either go to the noose or you can go to the nails. You can go to be hung or you can go to be held, but either way you have to die. Now that was a revelation to me. Either way you have to die. You see, Satan wanted to take me like he took Judas down a road so filled with guilt and condemnation and accusations from my sin to be hung or I could take that very same guilt and shame and I could take those down to the Via Della Rosa, the way of the cross, to see Jesus, the man hanging on the cross and see him with all of that stuff on him. But either way, I had to die. One would be the death of my voice, the death of my destiny, the death of my ministry. The other would be the death of my flesh. But so that I could give Jesus my identity, that I could receive his, a spotless, perfect, holy, righteous identity and everybody stands at that crossroads. It's death either way, 
but death of your destiny or death of your flesh to receive God's destiny for their lives. But then you had a revelation of Satan's playbook. How would you like to be playing uh, football and knowing exactly what the other team is going to do? That's, that's what he began to find out. What were you showing? The Lord showed me, as, as Paul said, that we have to at least understand Satan's tactics so that we're not outwitted by him. So God started downloading into me to share with other people. And this has set people free as I teach this stuff all over the country. The first thing the devil does, you see, he's not creative, but he is predictable. He goes through the same stuff person after person after person. The first thing that he does is he speaks lies. That's what he did to Eve in the garden. Did God really say question mark? It was a lie to get her to doubt God's word. The next thing that he does is he puts on guilt. Adam and Eve, after they took that bait of Satan, what did they do? They went and pathetically hid themselves in the very bushes over which they were before given dominion. And then the very next thing, this is what happens. This is where guilt goes to. It goes into shame. Guilt is a feeling that maybe I did something or this is how I feel, but shame says I am this. When I was younger, I felt rejected, but it eventually became an identity mm. of shame that said, I am a reject. Some people think I feel depressed and then eventually they say, I am depressed or I feel sick. And then they say, I am sick. And that's what the devil tries to do. That's the very last play in his playbook. See, the Bible says that as Christians, old things have passed away. Behold, there's that word again, behold, all things have become new. That is your identity in Christ. Your identity in Jesus Christ is that everything is made new. Old things have passed away. Jesus came that you would have a life that's made new and made right, not haunted by your past, but made as if the past has never happened. And the devil, if he can't keep you from being saved, he wants to keep you from living saved. You know, some of you, the light bulb was going on. You're getting so free. When we come back, we're going to find out more keys on how to silence the devil in your life forever. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! Call now and get Kyle Winkler's powerful book and anointed three-part DVD teaching set, Silence Satan, Shutting Down the Enemy's Attacks, Threats, Lies, and Accusations. Plus, receive this free Shut Up the Devil app, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9302. Through Kyle Winkler's powerful God-inspired book, Silence Satan, you will understand the three stages of Satan's strategy to overwhelm culture with sin, to sway us in the area of our desires, to taunt us with his accusations. Get to know the Devil's Playbook and receive an impartation to clearly discern when he speaks his lies to you, overwhelms you with guilt and shame, and when he tries to steal your identity in Messiah. Understand the power of being in the awesome presence of God, where your healing, your breakthrough, your super natural provision comes. In this three-part DVD series, Silence Satan, Kyle reveals the many ways Satan tries to silence us with wounds, accusations, lies, and deceit. Then he leads you on a journey to the place of victory. Through personal stories and Bible teaching, Kyle explains how to overcome your struggles and see yourself as God sees you. Explore the six articles of the armor of God and so much more. Many report being set free from demonic strongholds, receiving healing in their bodies, in their relationships, and with their finances. Also included is a special bonus, this Shut Up the Devil smartphone app. Through this app, you can access categories that deal with subjects such as fear, guilt, temptation, and find relevant scriptures. Personalize them so you can speak these scriptures out loud to defeat the devil. Are you dealing with depression? Are you dealing with fear? Are you dealing with worry? I can't wait for you to get this. And many of you are going to walk into your destiny when you get these materials and you start silencing Satan forever. Don't miss out on getting Kyle Winkler's powerful book and anointed three-part DVD teaching set, Silence Satan, shutting down the enemy's attacks, threats, lies, and accusations. Plus, receive this free Shut Up the Devil app, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9302. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9302 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. 
we now return to It's Supernatural. Yeah, Kyle, I love this quote of yours. Spiritual warfare is not about engaging in combat with Satan, who's already defeated. It's about living in the victory of the one who defeated him. Our emphasis has been wrong. That's right. We think that we got to suit up and we got to fight the devil. But the devil is defeated. He's defeated at the cross of Jesus Christ. And so I had to learn from Scripture what Jesus said is the model for which we are to defeat the devil and to combat the devil in our lives. You talk about, and I love it, it's time to talk back to the devil. <laughs> that's right. That, that's what God showed me in this, to live this stuff out. That one of the greatest ways, it's the way that, that Jesus, when he had to combat the devil in the wilderness, we talk about the devil trying to steal identity. Here Jesus is in Matthew 3. He's getting baptized. And then the heavens open and God speaks out an identity on Jesus. This is my son in whom I'm well pleased. First time in scripture that there's a public identity spoken on Jesus by his father. Then the very next thing, Matthew 4, he goes out into the wilderness. He's famished. What's the tempter coming to say? He comes to put doubt into Jesus about the very identity that God put on him. He said, if you are the son of God, but Jesus didn't put up with it and we don't have to put up with it either. Here's what Jesus did. He used the power of the spoken word of God to talk back to the devil. He said, it is written. And he used a relevant verse of scripture to shut down the devil's lie in his life. You see, the father of lies has no power when the truth of the father is present. And so when I saw that, you know, Satan has no answer for that. So as Jesus did that, he did that two more times. And it says that Satan fled and angels came to minister to Jesus. So that's what I started to do in my life. When you speak the word of God, ultimately, it takes those nail, that nails of crucifixion from the cross of Christ and it punctures that lie so that it has to fall down before it can even get into your mind. It takes the influence right out of it. I want you to pray for our people right now. I want you to know this. God says this to you right now, that you are not your past. You're not your feelings. You are not what somebody else said about you. God's word is your reality. And he wants to tell you because of his blood, because of his cross, that he declares you righteous, accepted, pure, spotless, clean, holy, chosen, loved. You get the identity of Jesus and you can look like Jesus because you're covered in Jesus. So right now, I want us to go there like I did. Just briefly, position yourself at the cross right now and see that bondage breaking blood of Jesus Christ as it covers you from head to toe. See it cover you, not an inch of you untouched by its scarlet. And I want you to see as that identity of Jesus' very DNA starts to cover you right now. I want you to say, say this out loud right now. Pour it on Jesus. Say it. Pour, Pour it, it on, on Jesus. Jesus and see it. And now I believe right now identities are being broken. The past is being broken over people. Depression right now is being broken. There are symptoms right now that are being broken right now by the bondage breaking blood of Jesus Christ. A new identity is coming on you. The identity, the perfect identity of Jesus is coming on you. And that's an identity that no devil can accuse because it's not about you, but about him and whom he can find no fault. Hear Jesus say over you right now, it is finished. It, it is, is finished. finished. I tell you, it is finished. God says in Jeremiah 31, this new covenant, God says, I will remember your sins no more. Be free. Be in joy. <laughs> In the midst of Kyle Winkler's greatest spiritual battle, he had a profound revelation from God. He was taken to the foot of the cross. Here, Kyle was given dynamic keys to shutting down the enemy's attacks, threats, lies, and accusations once and for all. Now, he wants to mentor you on how you can walk in supernatural health, better relationships, and success in every area of your life. Call now and get Kyle Winkler's powerful book and anointed three-part DVD teaching set, Silence Satan, Shutting Down the Enemy's Attacks 
attacks, threats, lies, and accusations. Plus, receive this free Shut Up the Devil app. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9302. What would life be like if you could silence Satan's attacks once and for all? I'll tell you what it'd be like. It'd be like heaven on earth. Through Kyle Winkler's powerful God-inspired book, Silence Satan, you will understand the three stages of Satan's strategy to overwhelm culture with sin, to sway us in the area of our desires, to taunt us with his accusations. Get to know the devil's playbook and receive an impartation to clearly discern when he speaks his lies to you, overwhelms you with guilt and shame, and when he tries to steal your identity in Messiah. Understand the power of being in the awesome presence of God, where your healing, your breakthrough, your supernatural provision comes. People are realizing that spiritual warfare is not about having combat with a devil that's defeated, but it's about living in the victory of the one that's defeated him. In this three-part DVD series, Silence Satan, Kyle reveals the many ways Satan tries to silence us with wounds, accusations, lies, and deceit. Then he leads you on a journey to the place of victory. Through personal stories and Bible teaching, Kyle explains how to overcome your struggles and see yourself as God sees you. Explore the six articles of the armor of God and so much more. Many report being set free from demonic strongholds, receiving healing in their bodies, in their relationships, and with their finances. Also included is a special bonus, this Shut Up the Devil smartphone app. Through this app, you can access categories that deal with subjects such as fear, guilt, temptation, and find relevant scriptures. Personalize them so you can speak these scriptures out loud to defeat the devil. Are you dealing with depression? Are you dealing with fear? Are you dealing with worry? I can't wait for you to get this material. You know, it's it's like taking Kyle home with you and having him be your personal trainer. And many of you are going to walk into your destiny when you get these materials and you start silencing Satan forever. Don't miss out on getting Kyle Winkler's powerful book and anointed three-part DVD teaching set, Silence Satan, shutting down the enemy's attacks, threats, lies, and accusations. Plus, receive this free Shut Up the Devil app, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9302. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9302 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, my guest has hundreds of miracles right in his own little congregation. A hundred people stood up and they said, I just had a recent miracle. But these are not just miracles. These are medically documented miracles. Get ready. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide. 